Before this video starts, I kind of want to address the elephant in the room, or more like the dog in the room. Uh, my dog Leo is in here. <laughs> uh, he might stay in here while I'm recording this entire review, so we're just going to have to wing it. Growing up, Pixar films were a huge part of my childhood, as I'm sure they were to your guys' as well. Uh, growing up, seeing all those vibrant characters and such creative storylines really had an impact on my uh, childhood years growing up. Stuff like Ratatouille, The Incredibles, Cars, Up, all those classic, timeless, beloved animated films really were a special part of me and my sister's lives. We watched them constantly growing up. We had the DVDs. We replayed them. My parents loved watching them. In fact, Cars is one of my dad's favorite films of all time. Uh, so that's interesting. So it really pained me for when for a few years there, uh, in the last few years, Pixar has kind of declined in quality. What I mean by that is that the films are fine, but they don't reach the same potential that Pixar once showed as a studio with stuff like I mentioned in their heyday. Uh, stuff like Turning Red, Soul, and Luca were passable, but really weren't showing me that Pixar magic that I longed for since childhood. Walking into this film, seeing all the uninspired marketing for Elemental itself, I was thinking to myself, okay, this is another Pixar film that's unfortunately not going to live up to the same expectation I have in my mind from this studio. And I walked out of the theater and I was so proven wrong and I'm so happy to report that Elemental doesn't reach the heights that OG Pixar films are at, but it manages to capture some semblance of the original Pixar magic that is still very alive and well today in the studio. Watch this! Elemental is about a city where fire, water, land, and air residents live together in harmony. A fiery young woman and a go-with-the-flow guy will discover something elemental, how much they have in common. Let's talk about in terms of the story, because I'm pretty sure that's what is the most important aspect of a Pixar film. If you don't have a strong story, you're not going to have a good Pixar film. The story here is very complex, which is good, but it's maybe a little bit too complex which is bad. You see, this film is a jumbled mess of ideas straining for a correct amount of screen time. It never really gives some semblance of order. It's all just chaotic events happening all around each other, which in the end, it does work out. But as you're watching, you can definitely notice things that could have been cut and could have been kept in, stuff that really just like doesn't sit well in the runtime of things. I thought the film itself was great. I thought it captured that perfect Pixar film feel and was such a heartwarming and soft story and was just so fun to watch. Pixar is a hit and miss studio as I mentioned and I think this honestly is not one of their best films but it's nowhere near their worst. It's basically somewhere in the middle. It's great and it's emotional and it's powerful but it's not like a masterpiece and I think that's what sums up this film perfectly. It's a lot of fun. The jokes land definitely land. The voice cast is all in and the ending is very poignant and bittersweet and emotional. It's not like the level of sadness that you expect from like Pixar films like Up or Coco or Inside Out, but it's a kind of just bittersweet sadness where it's so heartwarming and so emotional that you can't help but just tear up a little bit at what's happening. It's a very important message that this film conveys, and I thought it was handled expertly. I thought the animation was absolutely stunning. I was looking at like, you know, how the guy is made of water and the lady's made of fire and all the residents. It must have taken hours to render just one or two frames of animation for those characters because all the fire flames are just licking out at different intervals and at different places and the water's rippling around as he talks and moves that must have taken a lot of dedication to get right and pixar goes all in for it and makes it look astounding it is insane this film's heartfelt messages about immigration and family legacy are stuff that i think are going to hit well with audiences and really hit well with me i was very moved by this portrayal of a family that immigrates from a different country to start a new life for their daughter i thought it was a very heartfelt message i thought it was done so well and it just left me with a huge smile on my face also that score by thomas newman all in all, Elemental is the exact film you would expect Pixar to make in this current day and age. It's not um, one of their masterpieces, but it's not one of their worst films. It's a very sweet, very heartfelt, very fun film. Audiences are going to find a lot to resonate with this film. I think it's very accessible to basically anyone, and it's a very fun summer movie watch. I would give Elemental an 87 out of 100. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you are new here, please click the subscribe button down below, like the video, and turn on push notifications so you can be notified whenever I upload a new video to this channel. With that being said, this is Mitchell signing off. Peace out.